Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be solving an exponential equation with complex numbers. So we're going to be using complex exponentiation in this case and I'll be presenting at least two methods. Let's see how this goes. We have e to the power z equals square root of 3 minus i and we are going to solve for z values. So the first method, we're going to use z equals a plus b i because it's the name of this channel, right? And let's replace z with that and set it equal to root 3 minus i. Now we can definitely go ahead and separate this into e to the a and e to the b i. Notice that a is a real number and b is a real number by definition. So e to the a is also real and this is complex. And there's a formula called Euler's formula that allows us to write e to the power b i as cosine of b plus i sine of b, right? Now let's go ahead and focus on this. How do we write this in exponential form? Think about the modulus, the absolute value, which is 2. So take out a 2, basically. You can put the 2 out. Now we want to set it equal to this, right? So let's go ahead and put those together. e to the a cosine of b plus i sine of b equals 2 times root 3 over 2 minus 1 half of i. Now if these two complex numbers are equal, then their real parts are equal, imaginary parts are equal. But if you just consider inside the parentheses, both of these complex numbers are going to equal each other because they have the same modulus, right? They both have 1. So from here we get e to the a equals 2. I mean, you could get the same result by distributing, but this is a little faster, I think. So we can set e to the a equals 2. From here we get a equals ln 2 because a is a real number. And then from the second equation, cosine b, actually the second equation gives us two equations. So that gives us to the fourth quadrant. In the first quadrant, cosine 30 is root 3 over 2. So from here b is negative pi over 6 because we're on the fourth, right? So we got the values of a and b, so we should be able to write z, right? What is z? a plus b i ln 2 minus i times pi over 6. Is that the only value or can we do something about it? So that's a good question. If you think about it, let's go back to the original problem. You were able to multiply the right hand side by e to the power 2 pi ni, which is 1 in the complex world. This is equivalent to 1. So when you do the natural log or whatever method you used, you are able to add 2 pi ni to the answer. But if you wanted to go with the principal value, then you wouldn't do that. Or set n equal to 0. Okay? So far so good. All right. Let's take a look at the second method. For my second method, I'm going to use the natural log, obviously, right? Because we have an exponential function, so why not do complex exponentiation? If you natural log both sides, you're going to get the following. So, but this is a complex logarithm, right? How do you do that? Well, to write this, you need ln 2 plus i times the argument of this number, which is again going to be negative pi over 6. So z can also be found like this. Okay? How did I get that so quickly? Let me give you the definition. If you are trying to find the natural log of a complex number, let's just use w, something besides z. And you would do the ln of the absolute value of w. 
and then plus i times the argument of w okay so the argument is negative pi over 6 as you know and you can basically get the same answer from here those methods look very very similar we're kind of doing the same thing but i still wanted to introduce these methods to you all right let's go ahead and take a look at the third method which should probably be your go to method but again it's up to you okay so instead of replacing z with something i'm going to write the polar form for the right hand side okay how do we do that again in the argon plane we have the root 3 here and negative i here so our number is going to look like this the angle again is going to be negative pi over 6 radians so this number can be written as e to the power i times negative pi over 6 okay of course we can always multiply by e to the power 2 pi n i or just add it to this you could even add it like this which is probably a little easier if you do it like this negative pi over 6 plus 2 pi n and i is already on the outside okay cool now from here we get z equals i times did we do the right thing oh we forgot something of course i forgot the uh, two yes that's why <laughs> i'm like what is going on here I'm getting something else we forgot to uh, so we were supposed to write r as r times e to the i theta i forgot to write the r which is two in this case okay and then doing the natural logs on both sides we're gonna get z equals ln 2 plus i times negative pi over 6 plus 2 pi n and this basically gives us the exact same answer so these methods are, I know, very, very similar, but I hope you enjoy them all. And let us know which method is your favorite. I'd like to hear that, okay? And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know what you think. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and... Bye-bye.